friends blessings in the name of the lord i'm glad to be back praise god i'm glad i can be with you here again i miss you friends i do have something to share with you today this is going to be more of a teaching but it will bring clarity and direction for some people regarding your current circumstances and where you're at so I pray in the name of Jesus that this would bless you and strengthen you, friends. So regarding faith, faith is not so much belief in something as it is belief in someone. And this is very key and very important to understand because everything in our life as believers is going to be hinging on what we're believing about the person of Jesus Christ. And sometimes as believers, we can get fo our faith focused on believing for particular things. I have faith to believe for this healing. I have faith to believe to get this job. I have faith to believe for the finances I need for X, Y, and Z, right? When really is that faith is more about believing in the person of Jesus Christ and who Jesus really is, because everything flows out of that. And, you know, I saw, I saw a show the other day and there was this clip and if I am able to find a copy of the clip and insert it here somewhere in the video, I will try to do that so you can see it for yourself. Oh. Why didn't you let go? The timing was perfect. I wasn't absolutely certain it was exactly the right moment. Stop thinking about the moment. Think about me. I'm not gonna let you fall. Trust me. But it really illustrated this point so well. And it really hit me when I was watching it because it's such a perfect example of faith and what faith really is. So in this clip, it was um, two people, a man and a woman, and they were learning how to do this um, trapeze act, okay, for the circus. And um, the man was hanging upside down by his arm, by his legs, I guess you would say. And he was swinging back and forth. And the woman was supposed to swing over and let him, you know, let him grab her arms and then swing with him to the other side. You've seen the trapeze act, right, at the circus. You know how it goes. So she was standing on the platform and you know they both um come where they're right there together but she doesn't let go and she goes right back to where she started and so he said to her why didn't you let go the timing was perfect and she said i wasn't absolutely certain it was exactly the right moment how many of us can relate to that how many of us are waiting until we are absolutely certain it's exactly the right moment to take the step of faith that god has been asking us to take and then he said something that really is profound he said stop thinking about the moment and he said to her think about me i'm not gonna let you fall trust me and so then, you know, the next time they're successful and everything goes well and la di da di da So this is exactly what I felt some of us needed to hear right now, that it's not about waiting for the perfect moment. It's not about waiting for everything to fall in place exactly as it needs to be and you know, the clouds to part in the sky and the stars to align and everything's exactly as it needs to be to take that step of faith. God is asking us to take steps of faith because of who we believe he is, because of the person who's there to catch us on the other side. 
because when we take a step of faith, there's always going to be the space between, um, if we take it back to this example with the trapeze, it's always going to be a space between where we let go and where we're kind of floating in the air and then where God catches us, right? So it's always that space between we, we have to let go and then we have to trust that he's going to catch us. And so faith is what happens in that space in between. It takes faith to do that. If that wasn't there, if that space in between wasn't there, it wouldn't require faith. It would be a certain thing. So there'd be no faith involved. Faith, faith means that if we're not caught, there's a chance we could fall, right? If, if it's a certain thing, it doesn't require faith. So faith always is going to have that space, that time in between where we launch out in the Lord, where we take a leap of faith, where we jump off the platform, and then where he catches us. And for us to be able to do that, it's all about who we're believing he is. As a person, as a person, who do we believe that he is? And it's and I'm not talking about who who do we say he is because we know it's the right thing to say, or who do we know is the right thing to say according to being in church and the things we've heard, or according to what we know in our mind is the right thing to say. I'm talking about what we really believe about him. Because if we believe that the person on the other side who's going to be catching us is strong, knows what they're doing, is more than capable, is trustworthy, loves us, is going to do everything to make sure that we're going to be okay and that we're going to be safe, is never going to let us fall. If we're believing those things, then yes, we can do it. We can take that leap of faith. But if we're looking at God, at Jesus, and we've started to believe things that aren't true, like we've started to believe that maybe he's not there. Maybe he's not going to show up. Maybe we're going to jump and we're going to fall flat on our face because he won't catch us. And it could be because we've experienced things where, where it felt to us like that had happened before. It may be that we've taken steps of faith in the past and it felt like we fell on our faces and that God didn't show up. God wasn't there. It may be that you're in a time right now where you're in the in-between, where you've, take, you've taken a giant leap of faith and you're waiting for God to catch you and he hasn't caught you yet. And so you're starting to panic and you're starting to think, you know, we, sometimes we start to have those doubts about, okay, okay, God, where are you? Why, why haven't you shown up yet? You know, and, and we can start to think all sorts of things. This is how oftentimes the enemy tries to get in our head this way because he knows if, if he can taint the way that we see God, if we no longer see God as loving, as good towards us, as strong, um, as a, a God who can be trusted, then all bets are off, right? All bets are off at that point. So he's done that from the beginning of time. Even when he tempted Eve, he was tempting her with what she thought. He was trying to taint the way she thought about God, the person. Because if he could change the way that she thought about him as a person, why would she follow his direction anymore? Why would she follow his leading? If we if we have an idea about our lead that our leader is incompetent, doesn't know what they're doing, isn't trustworthy, blah 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 blah, doesn't have our best interests at heart, it's going to be much harder for us to follow their direction, follow their leading, to to fall in line with those things because we're not looking at them as someone we can trust to lead us, right? And so that's oftentimes where the enemy will try to attack the the way that we're looking at. Jesus the person <laughs> because that's what our faith rests on it you know like when we're praying for example for healing for someone to be healed or someone to be set free or delivered it's not so much about our faith that that healing is going to happen or our faith that that person is going to be delivered 
It's our faith in the person of Jesus Christ that the healing flows out of. It's our faith and belief in the person. That's what everything flows out. That's why signs and wonders follow those that believe. Not those that believe in the signs and wonders, but those that believe in the person and the signs and wonders flow out of that. That's why Jesus was not able to do the same miracles and healings in his own hometown. It wasn't because the people couldn't believe for healing or couldn't believe for a miracle. It's because they couldn't believe in the person of Jesus. They couldn't believe in who Jesus really was, in his true nature, in his true character. They couldn't see Jesus that way. They couldn't believe in Jesus the person in that way. And, and that's why, why he was not able to do the same um, deliverance and healing and miracles in his own hometown because everything we're doing even in ministry even in, even in ministry when we're praying for other people and that type of thing it's all flowing out of who we truly believe Jesus Christ is it's like Peter walking on the water it wasn't so much that Peter was having faith Oh, I believe I can walk on water. Let me jump out of the boat. I believe I can walk on water. It wasn't faith in the thing. It was faith in the person. It was, it was all about who Peter was believing that Jesus was. You know, Jesus is there. He's the Messiah. He's the Son of God. He's the one who reigns over the, the wind and the waves. He's, he's, he reigns over all. And if we're believing that about him, then yes, we believe we can walk on water, but it's not because we're believing in that thing, it's because we're believing in that person. And it's a subtle difference, but it's an important difference. And for some of us, um, we, we may need to um, just kind of examine ourselves and what we're, we're really believing about Jesus the person and about the person who's, who's going to catch us on the other side. Because I don't know about you, but it's definitely been a season um, for me of the last year, two years, where the Lord has asked me to take so many steps of faith, like back to back to back to back. Like, okay, here's another leap over here, and I'll leap over here. It's like it's like these giant steps of faith, and I'm I'm thinking, really, again? Like, didn't we just do this? Didn't we just go through this? But I know, or at least I believe that I'm not the only one who's been in that season where God is asking you to take these big leaps of faith. Some of you, you're in the place where he's asked you and you're waiting for that perfect moment for everything to line up. You haven't, you know, you're waiting for that to happen before you launch out. And God is saying, like, just get focused focus back on me and who I am. Because when, when you're believing the right things about me, when you're believing, I'm going to catch you on the other side. I love you. I, I care for you. I have your best interests at heart. When, you're, when that gets right, you're, you're going to be able to take that step of faith. And some of you have already launched out and you're in the space in between waiting for God to catch you. And he wants you to know the same thing. Like, don't panic. I'm still here. Like, just get focused back on me. Get, get your thinking right about me. Get your, more than your thinking, your, your, come with your, what you're believing about me. And if there's, you know, healing that needs to be done in your heart or whatever, so you can see him and understand him more as he really is and believe him in that way again, just take, just let him do that work in you. Um, and heal those places and just remind you of who he really is because because it, it is so important um, because we are as believers um, we are going to be required to walk by faith in so many ways I think more than we ever have and I think this is really important that we just get this right and how we're looking at the one who the one with the strong arms who's going to catch us on the other side. Um, so I bless you with that today, friends, and I pray you are well. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and be blessed. Bye.